The most important takeaways of law number nine, win through your actions and never through argument. They say actions speak louder than words. And it's true. Any victory you gain through argument is temporary. Nobody will remember what you said, but what you did. Demonstrate, do not explicate. As Benjamin Disraeli once said, never complain, never explain. In society, nothing must be discussed, only given results. Words are rarely convincing because every person thinks they are right, and nothing speaks louder than someone's actions. Therefore, sometimes it's best to try convincing others your ideas through subtle and indirect means, instead of through verbal communication. Because words tend to have multiple meanings, they tend to offend more than they please. There is no certainty when trying to prove a point through verbal communication. Outwardly, people will agree with you, but inwardly, they will despise you. Because sometimes we may say things that have multiple different meanings, and we may say things which can inadvertently and unintentionally offend others. As stated in the book, words have that insidious ability to be interpreted according to the other person's moods and insecurities. As a result then, it is always more effective to win through our actions, because they are there before our eyes for us to see. As Bellastar Gratian once said, the truth is always seen, rarely heard. Never argue and never dispute with other people. Find other ways of proving your point, rather indirectly. By doing so, one, you do not put others on the defensive, and two, you leave them open to persuasion. As stated in the book, making them literally and physically feel your meaning is way more effective than just words or just arguing your point. Always be indirect in what you do. It is the quickest way for power, or to save and conserve your power. And always, learn to choose your battles carefully. If at the end there's nothing to gain from proving your point to somebody, or if the other person does not understand where you are coming from, then don't even bother demonstrating anything to them. Save your energy and walk away. Again, remember, learning to win through your actions is twofold. You offend no one while also proving your point. Law number nine. Went through your actions, never through argument. So this is self-explanatory, and it goes without saying. The stories in here were pretty nice. They talked about how uh, the Roman consul was at war. There were stories about him, and there was an engineer that wouldn't listen to him, and instead he would argue that no, this is the best. This this is the better for you to do. I promise you, using these pillars or whatever. Or, they're better, they're more effective than what you want because he wants a whole mass full of pillars and stuff like that, and thicker and bigger ones. But the engineer was like, no, smaller would be more effective and would be stronger and better. But that's what happens when you try to outshine a master, right? So what happened was this guy's name never went, was recorded in history and he got killed. So that's a story for your ass. But it was a good law. I enjoyed it. Um, self-explanatory. There was a quote in here that I really enjoyed. Was the um, and it was about the Sultan and the Visor. And the Visor was uh, it says right here, a Visor had served his master for some thirty years and was known and admired for his loyalty, truthfulness, and devotion to God. His honesty, however, made him many enemies in the court, who spread stories of his duplicity and perfidy. They worked on the Sultan day in and day out until he too came to distrust, distrust the innocent Visor. Vizier, and finally ordered a man who had served him so well to put to death. In this realm, those condemned to death were tied up and thrown into the pan where the Sultan kept his fiercest hunting dogs. So, long story short, the Vizier, he befriended the dogs, the fierce dogs. He ended up in a load of cash or gold, and he went up to the guy who handles the dogs. He befriended the dogs. He cared for them for 10 days. And um, and when the sultan threw him in the pit, he's like, look, I cared after the, these dogs for 10 days. And look how they treat me. Look how much they love me. I took care of you for about 30 years. And look how you treat me. You throw me in the dungeon. You throw me to be killed. So the Sultan, he gets convinced and he also blushes and gets embarrassed, gives him a set of clothes and uh, he tells him to, he, and he also gives the vizier 
the people who were spreading words and bad names behind his back. As a result, uh, the vizier, he's like, he was, he treated them with kindness and he let, and he let everyone go. So that, that was pretty interesting. I enjoyed it. And uh, there's also a story in here about Michelangelo, which was fascinating because uh, Michelangelo had to go build a statue, which is the David Sling, right? Things like this. And um, the mayor was like, I don't think you could fix this, but you could give it a try. And Michelangelo's, yeah, I got this. And uh, when the mayor came back to look at it, or the who well, I don't know if he was the mayor or prime minister. He's like, oh man, the nose is too big. And then the, <laughs> and then uh, Michelangelo, he didn't even, he didn't dispute. He didn't argue. He just said, look, come here. He moved him up the scaffold and stuff like that. He grabbed like a fake load of uh, dust. <laughs> and he pretended to chisel away the nose. And then uh, the, the prime minister, the mayor, he was like, it looks perfect. So he really did nothing. <laughs> that was actually genius. So that was really interesting. And uh, so that was that with the Michelangelo. But as far as that, guys, this was uh, self-explanatory. I enjoyed it. And the reversal talks about how in order to cover your ass, you can try to talk people's ears off. Try to sound convincing. Right? Have so much conviction that, yeah, 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 you know, that, uh, so, and so it can make people believe you. And, um, that was it. That's all I have for law number nine. Hope you enjoyed watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Share this video. I'll see you next time.